Lawrence Stroll might be rolling out the for sale sign at Aston Martin, not just to cash in on its rising stock, but perhaps to cut some family ties. Could this be a father's bold move to put the brakes on his son's underwhelming race performances? Just last year, in a move that shook the financial foundations of Formula One, Lawrence Stroll sliced off a chunk of his Aston Martin empire, handing it over to an American firm for a cool $1.3 billion. Fast forward to today, and the rumor mill is buzzing again with whispers that Stroll is poised to sell up to 25% more of his team. What's behind this sudden garage sale of high-octane assets? On one hand, insiders speculate it's all about timing. Stroll is looking to cash in while Aston Martin's stock is as hot as a freshly revved engine at the starting line. On the other hand, some suggest it's a tactical evasion driven by his son Lance's roller coaster performances on the track. Could it be that Stroll Sr. is contemplating a strategic pit stop, swapping his team principal hat for a spectator's cap in the VIP lounge, all to distance himself from the engine roars and the potential crashes of his son's racing career? The paddock whispers continue but only time will reveal the true strategy behind Lawrence Stroll's moves. But here's the twist, and it's a juicy one. Aston Martin isn't just any team. They're the audacious breakout stars of Formula One. They're not just stepping out of Mercedes' long shadow. They're sprinting away from it. Goodbye shared wind tunnels and engines that smelled faintly of someone else's success. Hello, Independence. By 2026, with Honda as their exclusive engine provider, Aston Martin isn't just planning to join the front runners, they're aiming to redefine what it means to be a leader in the F1 circus. This isn't merely another notch on the corporate belt for Lawrence Stroll. This potential sale is a game changer, a pivotal shuffle of the deck that could very well redefine Aston Martin's destiny. In the high-octane drama of F1, this move could be the plot twist that has fans and rivals alike sitting on the edge of their seats. Yet behind the gleaming trophies and the polished exteriors, tension simmers in the Aston Martin camp. Lance Stroll, shielded under the broad umbrella of his father's ownership, has been navigating the circuits with a leisurely grace that critics say is more suited to Sunday drives than high-octane races. Described by some as more hobbyist than hardened racer, his cockpit seems as secure as a favorite armchair as long as Lawrence holds the reins. But whispers of change are in the air. If Lawrence Stroll decides to loosen his grip on the team, what then for Lance? Could this potential stepping back of Senior Stroll serve as the much-needed jolt to electrify Aston Martin's lineup, sparking a transformation from a familial affair to a meritocracy where every driver earns their stripes, or in this case, their starting position? This could indeed be the dramatic twist that reshuffles the deck in a game where every second and every seat counts. As investors circle like sharks at a chum bucket, lured by Aston Martin's tantalizing ascent and spanking new facilities at Silverstone, no longer merely an offshoot of Mercedes but a standalone contender, the plot doesn't just thicken, it practically congeals. The team's break for independence isn't just a fresh coat of paint, it's a neon sign flashing investment opportunity for those with deep pockets and a thirst for glory. And perhaps, just perhaps, this beacon of autonomy could tempt even the titans of Formula One like Adrian Newey, who, despite shrugging off rumors of a mouth-watering deal with all the nonchalance of a man turning down a cup of lukewarm tea, must surely find the burgeoning project at least a little intriguing. Honda's game plan is not merely to participate in the grand F1 circus. They aim to be the ringmasters, commanding the spotlight and steering Aston Martin to the zenith of motorsport triumph. This ambition isn't just shared. 
it's passionately echoed by Fernando Alonso, Aston Martin's star driver, whose thirst for victory is as insatiable as ever. As 2026 looms on the horizon, the F1 rulebook is set for a seismic shift with a new focus on engine and battery technologies that could shake the very foundations of the sport's hierarchy. This tech-centric revolution is poised to dismantle the traditional powerhouses and could very well offer upstart teams a golden ticket to the podium. In this reimagined battleground, Aston Martin, armed with Honda's cutting-edge technological arsenal, emerges not merely as a contender, but as a potential dark horse stealthily galloping towards the front of the pack. With a sprinkle of engineering magic and a dash of racing luck, they might just outpace the giants and deliver a plot twist worthy of a Hollywood blockbuster. So, place your bets wisely. The Aston Martin and Honda Alliance could be the underdog story we've all been waiting to cheer for. This isn't merely about offloading shares. It's about choreographing an epic Formula One narrative. In the high-octane world of F1, where engines roar louder than rumors, Lawrence Stroll's chess-like maneuvers, his son's pole position in family privilege, and the team's skyrocketing aspirations are all swirling in a heady mix. As Aston Martin revs up for what could be a dramatic reshuffling of both suits in the boardroom and helmets on the track, the air is thick with anticipation. Is this the prelude to a championship-laden era for Aston Martin, or will it merely be a fleeting overtake on the F1 superhighway? The clock is ticking, and for F1 aficionados, this unfolding saga offers a cocktail of suspense and speed that's as intoxicating as a victory lap at Monaco. Don't miss a single turn or twist in this high-octane drama. Subscribe now and get all the latest on Aston Martin's thrilling race to the top, direct to your inbox. Buckle up, because with us, you're always in the pole position for F1 news and insights. Rev up your F1 experience. Hit that subscribe button.